Welcome to the Jonas Club Management instructional video for point of sale event management. In order to use the point of sale event management system, you first need a sales item for the event. So go to point of sale system, system setup, then sales items, and create a sales item for this individual event. This contains the regular price, as well as the sales category. Keep in mind that sales categories contain the tax rules and the general ledger accounts that this sales item will post to for revenue. Once you have your sales item created, you can go ahead and create your event. So step one is to go to point of sale system, event management, and then set up slash edit events. First step is to choose your area. Then you can put in a new event or you can edit an existing event. So to put in a new event, you'll choose the date of the event, the time, and the name. And you can also write a short description regarding this event. To add members, you can either key them into the grid below or you can use this button to import members. If you were to import members, what you would need is an Excel spreadsheet, column one being the member number, column two being the quantity, so how many tickets or how many of the item are they purchasing, column three would be the sales item code, and that's the sales item that you've just created, and then you have the option of overriding the price. So if you do use column four, price override, that means that you're keying in a different price than what's been associated with this sales item. This file will have to be saved as a .csv or a comma separated file and you'll attach it to the file name and then update to files to import those members. You can also click the summary button to see a breakdown of the members who are attending the event as well as a dollar value and you can hit print to actually print the list of attendees. To add more members, just key in the first member space that's blank, hit your F2 lookup, and you can actually double click on any of the members that are on that list and do searches for your members as well. Using the enter key will pull in the information from the row above, which is the quantity and the sales item that you've chosen for your event. And then you can always key over the price if you've made a special deal with this member to give them a discount. You have two spaces for notes at the end of that row. And if you keep hitting enter, it will actually take you down to the next available row. Once you have either entered in or uploaded all the members to be attending this event, or it's the day of the event, you can go ahead and open. So step two would be to go to point of sale, event management, then open an event. Choose the area the event is in, and then choose the event. So what this will do is create an open chit for every member on that grid with the sales items and quantities and price overrides if you've chosen to use that, that you've keyed into the event. So you can choose which day you'd like to create the open chits dated. And keep in mind, this is when they will be visible at the point of sale. So you want to make sure that you are doing it either the day of the event or the day that you wish to have these closed and posted. You can assign them to a server or you can assign them to yourself. And then you have the option of printing a copy of each chit, erasing the event after opening the event, printing the chits by member last name as opposed to member number, and also applying any member discounts. You can also choose how many covers would apply per chit on the event, and you can also enter zero, which will allow you to use the item count for covers. Hit OK to open the event. You'll now be able to see all of the open chits for the event at your point of sale system, and you'll even be able to go into them, view the item on the chit, and also add additional things to the chit, such as drink orders or additional food. In order to close the event, you have two options. You can either have your servers pick up each open chit individually and close it to either member charge, cash, or credit card. You can also close them all at once. So you can do this by going to point of sale system, event management, and then close all chits for an event. Choose your area and then choose the event. What this will do is take every chit that was opened, member charge the balance, and then close it so that you are ready to do an end of day update. 
Hit OK to close all the chits. And you can now run an end of day update to view the chits on the members accounts and also post the revenue. You'll notice on your end of day update that below each chit that's related to the event, you'll actually see the event name. You'll also notice on the members accounts that the event name has actually replaced the description on the point of sale chit so they know exactly what this charge is for. Thank you so much for joining this webinar today. Please visit jonasupport.com for more videos like this one.